My name is David Brown. I'm a researcher in the eScience team at Microsoft Research Redmond, and I'm going to spend a few minutes talking to you about a project we've been recently working on called Holograph. So the way we're interacting with PCs is changing. It's changing from, the, from keyboard and mouse to two-dimensional touch to, to multi-touch. And we're on the cusp of starting to interact with data using three dimensions, using three-dimensional in-air gesturing. One of the things that I would like to show you today um, is a, a, an idea that we have of taking data and playing with where it can sit above or below a two-dimensional screen because we don't have holographic screens just yet. So let's have a look at the demo. So what we're looking at here is a, is a three-dimensional globe that is sitting above the screen. And, and I can interact with that using, using touch on the screen uh, in this version of the demo. But I can also play with where this image sits above or below the screen. So for example, I can move it below the screen and have the project as a, a virtual window onto a much larger world. But we can look at other types of data here. Um, so let's take a, an example of a three-dimensional model. So here, for example, and we have a little model of a, of a spaceship that is sitting again above the screen. And from an engineering perspective, it could be really interesting to be able to reach into a, a three-dimensional model and start interacting with it in, in, in three dimensions. One of the real goals of, of Holograph is to start looking at um, data that we can map out uh, geographically um, and do that in a way that is, is three-dimensional. So this is a graph of city population across the world. And we can explore this world by moving this data set around uh, in two dimensions uh, through this virtual box that we have sitting below the screen. And our hope here is that by doing this, we get a much easier insight into gaining information from the data that perhaps would be harder to do if you were working in two dimensions. And of course, we can work with, with spatial data as well and temporal data. So here, for example, is a recording in three dimensions using Connect. If I just play this video, you can see that this is a, a familiar scene from a, from a science fiction movie, but it's three dimensional data that changes over time. And from the perspective of the user is effectively a holographic image that sits above the screen. So in summary, Holograph gives us a way of both visualizing and interacting with data either above, within, or below a two-dimensional screen plane, but in a way that appears three-dimensional to the user. We hope this will give the user a, a greater insight into the data and take some steps towards interacting with more pervasive data around today using natural user interaction. Thank you.